Hey everyone, Red Pill here. Hey, I just got off of work and I just got this information about Karen Hughes. I wasn't even expecting to make a video. In fact, I'm ready to go to bed. But apparently it is news to me that, well, today is uh, August 8th, Thursday, and it's 9.32 a.m. I just got this information. Here, take a look. Check this out. Check this out. Hey, Red Pill here. I didn't even expect to make this video. I just uh, got word on you on Facebook that there is possibly a matter with Karen Hughes being held against her will at John Hopkins Hospital. Uh, let me pull this over here. Now, apparently, she is being held hostage at John Hopkins Hospital. I got this uh, this notice in my uh, my group and over here when I pull up Karen Hughes Twitter page it seems like these tweets are saying that she's been held at the hospital by a doctor Daniel Johnson who's refusing to release her, release her from the suburban hospital well I don't know what led up to this but for some reason it seems like Karen Hughes is being held against her will in a John Hopkins facility uh, by a, apparently guy this guy and that facility is supposedly located where suburban hospital John Hopkins medicine located at 8600 Georgetown Road in Bethesda Maryland so apparently Karen Hughes is being held against her will in Bethesda, Maryland at a John Hopkins Center uh, known as the, uh, what was it called? Okay, boy, I'm getting old, huh? The Suburban Hospital Job Hop Job John Hopkins Medicine in Bethesda, Maryland. So if anybody knows anything about this and can provide more information, uh, it would be appreciated. And if it's possible, uh, maybe we can start some sort of campaign first to verify this and second uh, to figure out a way to create a stir and create some noise to get Karen Hughes released if she is in fact being held against her will. Uh, this is breaking, developing. I don't know how much more I'll be reporting on this, but this right now I felt needed to be put out there. So I'm making this video now and putting it out there to you guys and asking you for help to figure out what's going on with Karen Hughes. And if she is being held against her will, we need to do something to help her get uh, out of this place, out of this, this detention that she's being held in, if that's the case. Thanks. Red Pill signing off. Okay, for those of you who don't know who Karen Hughes is, she is like a major whistleblower in the financial uh, um, in the financial world. She kind of blew some stuff wide open, and uh, there's a lot of uh, high finance people that are that don't like her a, a whole lot. Apparently, um, we take a look over here. This is her page. She is a whistleblower. This is Karen Hughes here. This is her picture. And these are the tweets that I was telling you about. We've got one here. It says, all the provisions in the commercial lien will be incorporated here, and so be it. Sincerely, Karen Hughes and General Counsel International Bank for Reconstruction and Development. Apparently, she has a quarrel with somebody who she is trying to get a message to to let them know that no matter, maybe she's saying no matter what, if they hold her against her will, it's still going to happen, whatever it was that was going to happen. I don't know what to make of this just yet. Right here, this is where it seems to start. Uh, the banksters forgot to give anything I wrote about Dr. Daniel Johnson's possible finance, financial ruin to Dr. Johnson's. The crooks can't fly straight. I just held Dr. Daniel Johnson accountable for refusing to release me from Suburban Hospital and releasing the world's gold. I'm not sure what that's about. I haven't really been following this. Uh, this is the guy. That's him, plus 15 years more or less. She identifies him. My doctor, Charles Grant, her doctor, not mine, 
is trying for days to have Suburban Hospital release me. I don't know why she was admitted in the first place. 8719 Suburban Hospital, Dr. Daniel Johnson. Dear Dr. Johnson, as the overseer mandate trustee of the Global Debt Facility, I am responsible for the assets contained in the Global Debt Facility. I am holding you responsible for the consequences of your refusal to discharge me. So apparently she went in on 8-7 for some reason. I don't, don't know what that reason is. I'm just trying to get you as much information as I can on this. Uh, let's see, she continues, And holding me against my will, You, your responsibility began on August 4th and extends at all times thereafter. You have committed a crime for this failure to allow me to act under my own cognizance. This is an individual act and your personal assets will be forfeited. I will give you notice of these damages three times in the next months to the extent I am not detained and prevented from doing so. Otherwise, you will be in default under the common law. And all of the provisions in the commercial lien will be incorporated herein. So be it. Sincerely, Karen Hughes, Acting General Counsel, International Bank for Reconstruction and Development. Wow, so it looks like maybe she was in a dispute with someone over some sort of I don't know exactly <laughs> some sort of financial deal holdings let's see detained preventive you'll be incorporated here in commercial lien. Some maybe she's having trouble with some maybe I don't know. I, I can't say I don't know anything about this. All I can show you is what's going on. There's something about a commercial lien, and it appears that she's being held in a hospital against her will, but somehow she's able to tweet. I don't understand that if she's being held against her will. Maybe they're just not letting her out of the hospital to try and you know keep her from doing something, but I guess they're not really restricting her from her phone. So, I don't know. If you have any more information on this, maybe you can help out. Uh, pass this along to other people who may know more or may be able to figure out a way to contact Karen Hughes and find out what's really going on. Thanks. Red Pill, signing off. Take the Red Pill.